effect of pressure on equilibrium position of a reversible reaction. Let's take a look at this question. The question says, predict the direction of equilibrium position for the reaction below if the pressure is increased. Let's solve this problem. We have been given an equation and the question says, predict the direction of equilibrium position if the pressure of this equilibrium reaction is increased. So let's see what happens if the pressure is increased. Any, anytime you are asked to predict the direction of equilibrium position, you are simply being asked to tell us whether the equilibrium position will shift to the right hand side, which we call the forward direction, or the back, the backward reaction, which is the left hand side. Now, the effect of pressure on equilibrium depends on one thing, which is the number of moles of gases present on both sides of the reaction. All you simply need to do is this. Find out the number of moles of gases you have on the left hand side. Find out the number of moles of gases you have on the right hand side. As soon as you do that, find out which side has lower or higher mole of gases present in the reaction. If the pressure increased, note that the side with lower number of moles of gases will be favored, which simply means an increase in pressure will shift equilibrium position to the side with lower mole of gas, while a decrease in pressure will shift equilibrium position to the side with higher number of moles of gas. How do we do this? We have to ensure that the equation is balanced. Now, looking at the equation on the board, as you can see, it's already balanced. For those of us who do not know how to balance chemical equations, keep visiting our channel. So we are going to treat that soon. Now, looking at this equation, the next thing you have to check is the state of the substance present. Only substances in gaseous states are considered when you are dealing with effect of pressure. Now, looking at this equation, you can see that the ion is in solid state. It simply means that we are not going to consider ion here because it's in solid state. We are dealing with pressure, remember. When we are dealing with pressure, focus on only the substances that are in gaseous states. Now, we are not going to consider ion because it's in solid state. We are going to consider the water here because it's in gaseous state. So, we are going to consider this one. We are not going to consider this iron oxide because it's in solid state. Hydrogen here is in gaseous state. So, we are going to consider this hydrogen because it is in gaseous state. Only the ones in gaseous states are considered when you are looking at effect of pressure. Now, on balancing the equation, check out the number of moles of gases on both sides. On the right hand side, I have four moles of gases present. On the left hand side, I have the same four moles of gas is present. Since I have equal number of moles of gases, it simply means that an increase in pressure will have no effect on the equilibrium position of the reaction. Why? Because equal number of moles of gases are present on both sides of the reaction. So the answer to this question is there will be no effect when the pressure is increased. Thank you for watching. Do well to like our page, share our link to your friends, and do not forget to subscribe. Thank you.